So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a database project uh, using Visual Studio, which is this tool right here. Normally, as uh, DBA, we normally use uh, Management Studio and other tools to create a database quite easily. And we manage our database from here uh, very easily. And that is fine. But when it comes to DevOps, because you might encounter a situation whereby you are told to build a database and create a DevOps pipeline, this is a situation whereby you develop your database and then when you make changes to your database, it is published automatically to a repository and then updated in the database server. Now, this is not something you can do using Visual, uh, using uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm going to show you how to create a database project right here. And when you publish it, it's going to be available right here. So one, when you make changes here, you can actually um, publish those changes to an, a remote repository online and then make it available in any database server you want. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed so that you don't miss any update. So the first thing you want to do is to go to File, New, and then create a project. The project type you are going to be creating is a database project. So at the left hand side, you are going to select SQL Server and choose SQL Server database project. So I'm going to call it um, uh, uh, tutorial my uh, DB project. Oh, let me just call it tutorial DB or oh, my DB. Sometimes I don't know what name to give. So let me call it my DB project and say, okay. Now this project is exactly the same as any other project. It's exactly the same as any other project you can create in Visual Studio. And, but the output of this project is going to be a complete database made up of tables, views, sort procedures, functions, and a whole lot of other things you see in a database. And that is great. All right, so now it's very easy to work with. So here is my solution right here. So I'm gonna just right click and click on new, and click on add and add a table. It's as easy as that. So create all your tables. So once you click on add a table, um, add a table and give it a name, let me call it user or users, okay, users, and say add. So I'm creating a new table, but for now this table is, created in, it's not published to any database yet. So let me say first name and last name. Okay, so we have one table in our database. I'm gonna just save and this is fine. So the next thing I'm gonna do is simply to click on build and then I'm going to build solution, all right? All right, so we have users.sql, so this is our table definition. So just to make sure everything is fine, let me just add one more table. I'm going to call this table customers. And this customer table is gonna have a name and website, okay? I'm going to save. And I'm also going to build, build solution and that's fine. Now, whatever we are building here is a database project and this database for now does not exist. But this database has two tables. And just to show you, you can add a number of other things as you can see from here, scripts, stored procedures, function, just like you have in my in, in, um, in management studio right, studio right here. Next question now is how do you make this uh, database project available as a database in uh, the database server? It's very simple, simply right click on the project. Actually, you can do it in two ways, right click on the, on the project and click on publish. Or you can also go to build and click on uh, publish, publish my DB project. So let me use here, from here I'm gonna say publish. So once I say publish, it's going to display this window that says publish database. So I say the publish script name, this is fine. And then we are going to edit the connection. So now this connection, uh, it ha you have to specify where the database server, where you want to publish the database as well as the name of the database. Now the name of the database 
defaults to the name of the project and you have the database name to be DB project. And now I want to take the connection from here. So this is uh, the connection. I want to take it exactly as it is here and use it uh, here. So I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to click on test connection and I think everything is fine. Don't know why it's not giving me. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to click on connection cannot be tested because the specified database does not exist. Okay, for now it doesn't exist, that is fine. So I'm going to say, uh, okay, publish. So once I click on publish, I, I'll be able to see the, the, the preview of the publish process right here. So what it's going to do is going to run the script, create all those tables, create all the objects in SQL Server and we'll be able to see this database in SQL Server. They can see publish completed successfully. Now this DB project, if I go back here and then right click and refresh and refresh from here, we'll be able to see when we expand the database, we'll be able to see uh, my DB project. And when I drop down here, you'll be able to see the two tables we created right here. So basically the same. The good thing about this at this point, you can now add this project to a source control. This is something you might not easily do from here. What it means, you can create a DevOps pipeline, publish it to a repo online, and then be able to, to uh, automatically update it once you make any change. Maybe you create a new table or maybe you update an existing table, it will easily publish to your repository online and then update your database server. So this is how to create a data project and generate your database from Visual Studio. And also check out my next video, my previous video on how to create a DevOps pipeline and push your, your uh, project to Visual Studio Team Services Online. So I'm going to stop here. I'll be making a full course later on for now. If you have challenges, please let me know. And also please like and share this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. I remain Kainton the Tech Pro.